just in general, I'm wondering what kind of feedback you get. Do you get equal parts lovers and haters? Because you're the person everybody wanted to hear from, at least in my world, the most on this card. And yet I feel like you're a person who gets a lot of grief as well. I get, um, I get um, some grief. I get a lot of support. I, uh, I get a little bit of everything. <laughs> How do you deal with it? Um, I don't know. The, the, the thing is, um, maybe a little bit of a bad thing to say, but uh, a lion doesn't uh, bother about the opinion of sheep. And that's a little bit downgrading in that sentence. But, um, you know, I've chose my career not for other people. I chose my career because I am who I am. I'm a fighter. I've always been a fighter. I remember when I was uh, seven, eight years, I watched WWF. And Hulk Hogan was like, oh, my God. And I was imitating it in the, in the, in the sand playground on the beach with other. So, I've, you know, it's just, it's just in me. It's just in my blood. And, um, yeah, of course, along the way, some people will like it. Some people won't like it. You'll have enemies. If you, you beat some guy, obviously his fans are not going to like you. Well, some of them might be, but a lot of them won't. And, um, yeah, that's just the way it is. But, um, you know, I chose this progression for me because I this is me. This is what I like to do. And uh, next to that, I got bills to pay. Alex, there's so many fans were excited when you came over to the UFC and you, you got one fight in and then you had the nine-month suspension. Do you feel that you have something to, to prove to the fans in this fight? Uh, nah, not necessarily. I mean, I have a, I mean, my, my resume, I'm going into my sixth year undefeated right now. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a winner. I always want to win. In that sense, I uh, don't have anything to prove to, uh, you know, I'll just, I just need to do my thing and I'll be just fine. Your last win was against Brock Lesnar and I'm just curious how satisfying was that victory to you being in the UFC and obviously you're a three-time champ and other organizations, but I just wonder where that falls in the rank of fun victories or satisfying victories in your career. I've had uh, a lot of uh, great victories. Brock definitely was one of them. It was my first fight in the UFC and it was a great uh, entree. Uh, on the other hand, it was a little bit sad because I retired him. I mean, uh, I kind of liked his whole thing. And, uh, but, again, I fight for me. It was a great, great first fight in the UFC. Well, didn't I hear that he resigned uh, to do more wrestling, pro wrestling? So Back. maybe you can still be a fan of his <laughs> Still, I, you know, I don't really watch pro wrestling anymore. That was a thing when I was 10, 11, 12. I don't really watch it now anymore. Dana made an announcement that... Uh, I loved it back then, the wrestling, Ultimate Warrior, and all these guys, but now it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too clean and a little bit. Dana said that he tried to put together Brock versus Fedor at Cowboy Stadium. What was your reaction to that? Um, always nice to know, always interesting to know, but uh, I don't really have any uh, thoughts on it. I mean, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe happened, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, so talk about the day that the Nevada State Athletic Commission gave you your license back? I mean, emotionally, what were you thinking? How excited were you? Kind of take us through that process. Uh, well, I mean, obviously my management and I, we sat down and we discussed uh, how we would move forward. We put together a plan. Um, the plan was to uh, rebuild the confidence in me by the commission, rebuild the trust relationship. So that's how we set about and uh, it included uh, the, the monthly test. So we did that. So I already kind of knew that we we um, went in the right direction. So for me, it was like it's either going to happen or it's not. But I'm just doing the best I can. And uh, again, as long as I'm doing the best I can, it'll either work out or it won't. But at least I don't have any um, second thoughts about it. Alistair. Do you feel you have a clean slate and you're starting new with the UFC at this point? Well... To clean slate, let me just get through a couple of fights without any issues, and then I'll have, you know, things go away in time. But I think still it's, I think still it's kind of fresh to talk about a clean slate yet. Although Dana did credit you with, you know, sort of manning up and coming to speak to him, and because he was initially disappointed, and I mean, was that a, something that you 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 initiated that you felt like you really needed to go and speak to a man to man? Yes. Alistair, at the commission hearing, you had said that you would like them to do things to try to improve upon what they have for facilities for testing overseas. What would you recommend to the commission? Um, I'm not going to make any recommendation. I just said what was faltering for me being an athlete overseas. And um, I think they've corrected that by now. Any message to your haters? 
No, no, I'm not messing with them. I keep on doing what you're doing. I mean, uh, I'm not losing any night's sleep over it. <laughs> is your brother still Thanks, a part of your, of your you know, fight career initially? If he's someone who got you into it, is he still around fighting and is he still helping you out? Well, he is actually on his way to Miami right now. Um, he's got a fight scheduled in Miami. Um, his fighting is a little bit um, lower skill right now because he's got other activities which he's doing. But, I mean, he's still a great talent and a funny guy to have around. So, And he, he, he's around. And are you okay with, I would imagine the UFC has an exclusive contract with you, so are you okay with putting away the K-1 and the straight kickboxing? I'm not going to go back to K-1. Still owe me some money. Alistair, you chose the Black Zillions last year as your camp, and when you did so, Bigfoot Silva left and went to train at ATT. He said he's been wanting to fight you for two years now. Do you have any particular indication as to why he's been wanting you so badly to fight you for two years? No. I don't. Was there anything that went down at the camp when you entered that prompted him to leave that you know of? You know what the thing is? This is what I dislike about people. People talk crap, but when you see them, because I saw him one time there, I was like, hey, hey, give me a hug, acting all fake. I don't like those kind of people. You know, acting all like, hey, hey, hey laughing. And then now suddenly I want to fight him for two years, blah, blah. Well, the fight is going to happen this Saturday, and I can't wait. He said you both were kind of destined to fight. Do you agree with him or not? What's that? He said that you two were kind of destined to fight. Do you agree with him or not? Maybe we are, maybe not. I mean, destiny is going to happen or not. I assume you've watched tape, and I wanted to know what your thoughts were on his last fight versus Travis Brown performance. I didn't watch it. Have you studied up on anything at all particularly for him? Is that normal for you to not, to not watch the fighters, your opponents? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. On uh, Bigfoot, I didn't. My trainers did, I didn't. Um, maybe I'll start doing it. I don't know. You talked about the layoff, having to sit on silence. Did you get a little stir crazy not being able to fight for as long as you had to wait? No, I, I used the time uh, off productively. I still kept training every day, improved my game on, on a, a lot of different areas. I um, got to know my way around in Miami, being, being new to the city. I uh, shook a lot of hands, met a lot of new people. So in that sense, I made the most out of my time off. And what was it like being with the Black Slayers? Once you joined that camp, they talk about family and being very tight. So what was that? What did that bring for you that you didn't have before? Well, usually uh, I'm very skeptical towards the word family and brotherhood and all that stuff because I'm, I'm a realist. But um, as far as structure and as far as uh, camaraderie and team, team spirit, it is truly there. I mean, it is, it's a true team. Uh, it has an excellent uh, management. They really take care of you as a fighter, and uh, overall a very good vibe. Alistair, has there been any indication with this fight that if you win, you may actually get propelled to a title shot? Yes, I think so. Does that come from Dana? Did you speak with him, or is it just a hope that if you make a statement? Well, it's, it's you know, the management, of course, is speaking, and, um, you know, but I can't say anything for sure. For me, it's just I'm just here. I'm here to uh, beat up a Bigfoot, and then we'll go from there.